True Boxer Heads here with Kendrick Relliford. How you doing, my man? I'm doing good. Hey, man, you're looking good. Hey, it's our Appreciate first time it. sitting down, you know, doing an interview. Um, you know, I've known you from the boxing scene for a long time. You know, much respect. Appreciate it. You know, it, you know that. But uh, I had to show some love to you. You got an upcoming show. Yes, sir. You got a lot going on. But before we go there, I want to know all about you, man. Tell me about you, yeah. your upbringing, and where you're from. Kendrick Relliford, born and raised on the east side of Fort Worth. Uh, I pretty much lived in all the boroughs, what I call them. Yeah. Carter Park, east side, Stop 6, Forest Hill, everywhere. Um, man started boxing in 92. It's a family thing, so my dad and all my uncles did it. Won Golden Gloves. So my name, the Relliford name, has been synonymous with boxing and Golden Gloves since the 70s and 80s. So here I am, still bringing it on and growing it. Um, being ranked as high as number 12 and 13 in the world as a professional, won the regional Golden Gloves, state Golden Gloves, and I'm just here leaving a legacy, man. Yes, sir. Yeah. And you're a true Fort Worth guy, man. You yes, actually sir. went to O.D. Wyatt, yeah. and here you are now on the east side. Yes, sir. How yes. was that for you, man, uh, You know, giving back to the community and, and staying true to Fort Worth? Um, it was important, very important for me, because a lot of my friends that I grew up with, I don't want to. I don't want to say and sound bad, but they didn't make it. A lot of them didn't make it out. A lot of them went a different route. I'll say that. True. Um, even family members just went a different route. So it was important for me throughout my career to make sure that I stay home based and still be some type of motivation for the next generation coming up. And my respect, man. You're doing a good job. Appreciate it. Um, I mean, as you people can hear in the background, you got a full house here. Yeah, yeah. Get, uh, got sparring going on. Tournaments coming up. Fight night's coming up. So everybody, everybody's getting ready for a fight. Yes, sir. And that's actually what got me here. But we'll talk about that. I'll talk yes, about sir. that a little bit. We got some pro fighters. Got some real sparring going on in the background. I wanted to ask you, man. What got you into boxing? And, and uh, what age you, did you get into it? And what drove you to the sport? I know you said your uh, father. My man. So the gym was pretty, really my babysitter. So I say I was able to come up through the golden age of Fort Worth boxing. So I grew up in Gorman's gym. Okay. Gorman Super Shout out Pro. To Gorman is a legend. Yes, sir. Yes, Fort Worth sir. Legend right there. Yeah, five five world champions at one time. Wow. So I got to see Donald Curry, Steve Cruz, all those guys. Um, sparring when I was a little kid and I I remember like it was yesterday man so even when I turned pro um, having conversation with David Gorman he actually started me out before Good. he died so oh, wow. yeah yeah so I got the I, I mean I came in at the best time of boxing here in Fort Worth so I got to see it all hey how old were you when you got to um, see the uh, the Hall of Famer the only Hall of Famer see, out of Fort Worth uh, Curry the Curry um so I was I was born in 82 Oh, so yes, sir. But I remember still going into the gym at four or five years old. The gym was my babysitter. Yeah. Seeing him spar, my dad and my uncle Vince was one of his main sparring partners. Okay. Yeah. So that's how that goes too. Yes, sir. A, lot, a lot of a lot of fighters, you know, they, you know, they are, um, you know, born into it. Yeah. And you definitely were born into it. Yeah. Definitely. 